Bluey Design is a product design, development, and strategy company. We're located about a stone's throw from Minneapolis. But 75% of the work we do is in medical devices. We're a group of people who innovate and develop, test, prototype, research new product ideas for our customers. We had a chance to be involved in an exciting new technology for benign prostate hyperplasia. The client came to us with a what's called a breakthrough technology. Instead of tearing and ripping the flesh, this device goes in and it gently denatures the cell membranes and the patient is back to normal urinary function, normal life function uh, within a matter of hours. In the beginning the project started out with a list of engineering components. We began sketching ideas and then from those sketches we began to hone it down into a more singular idea and we began to do 3D computer models of this device. We decided from the beginning that we needed an FDM model when we got to this stage of the project. We're making working prototypes, so we're putting all kinds of components, you know, transformers, RF generators, all these things are going in there. And we're bolting this thing together. You know, we're driving screws through the plastic. It needed to hold up. In the hospital, equipment is often treated very harshly and needs to have the durability that FDM can really allow for. But it was time to get our first FDM model. We went to Red Eye On Demand. Red Eye is a very streamlined process. It's very easy to work with. They have an online website which allows you to upload files. They have a really large facility and a lot of machines. So when we send them parts, we can get parts back quickly. Get it in a matter of days. So we're very quickly into testing our prototypes. And we actually took these prototypes and did a certain level of durability testing on them as well. There's several agencies in the federal government that require that we do drop testing to make sure the product is safe. FDM allowed us to do that. We could take the product, print it, go into our back shop, and start kicking it around. It was actually a lot of fun. We uh, developed an impact ball that met the specification requirement for uh, drop testing and impact testing, and we smacked it into the side of this product numerous times. Our goal was to try to either crack the FDM or break it within the normal use parameters, and it held up the whole way through. We were surprised to see the FDM perform so well. It beat all of the tests with flying colors. FDM helped get this project from the conception all the way to manufacturing. We were able to take FDM parts, do fit and finish, make evaluation changes, quickly produce more FDM parts for corrections, and now we're at the point where we push past into manufacturing the products being released to market. Using Red Eye On Demand and, and using these FDM prototypes, we had to save at least $250,000 and at least 12 to 14 weeks by doing our development this way as opposed to making them in tooling and production models. For me as a physician, what's important is getting this technology into the operating room. What FDM does is it shaves off days, months, years in terms of the production of these products. And that allows me to treat patients sooner, faster, more efficiently, and with better results.